The fourth tool at our disposal in the 2D LiDAR tool is the 3D scene. Click on it here in the side panel, and what you'll see is a very far away object. Um, you could scroll in by using your middle mouse wheel. And what this view does is gives us a 3D view of the object. Here we could scroll in and out by using our mouse wheel. We could also use WASD to turn and pivot the camera. And we could also use um, the, our arrow keys as well to turn the camera. What the 3D tool is useful for is having a better understanding of the context of the object. For example, is it moving uphill? Is it moving downhill? Um, is another object blocking our view of it? Uh, or it also is also very useful for finding missing activations. For example, if we go backwards here, um, we could easily double check whether or not the object is annotated in all of the frames it should be annotated in. Likewise, it's also easy for us to check and understand what is going on around the scene. Are there other objects that block our view of it? Um, is it the same object? Are we not mixing it up with another thing? Um, these are all different uses of the 3D tool that allows us to give us more context that wouldn't be available to us normally in the project view, grid view, or in the headings view.